podcast. Just watching a great risk broadcaster commentate a high level game. Well, thank you so much for your confidence. Hey, Open Tanya is also subscribed. PRT is getting some love today. Thank you so much. Yeah, two bots, four players. I don't know why his screen is dark. It was darker than it went brighter. I feel like Quarantined has a, a sleep mode or something on his computer. He also doesn't have the troops next to the players on the right hand side. He likes to keep it a mystery how many troops someone has. Needed to remember the resub when you wasn't broadcasting yourself. Well, thank you very much. While we're giving money to the PRT, let's do a little mention. Did that work? Okay, that didn't work. Mention of Rogue Energy, partner for the PRT Energy Drinks. If you're interested, then you can use the code Risk Takers and get 10% off. There we go. I remembered. Okay, thank you. Open. <laughs> it's in the chat if anyone wants to check that out. So who do we like here? Who do we like to win this game? It's bothering me that the screen is a bit dim. But at least he has added in now the information on the right hand side. Do we think that quarantine usually plays without seeing how many troops someone has? Or what percentage they're on? Is he wild and crazy? Okay, whoever went past you in the points. How many points are you on, Hudson? Phillies is good. Okay, the screen is still dim. I thought it might brighten up when it was his turn. Turn one bonus. But that bonus is split in half with a blizzard. Might make it a little bit more tricky to hold. We've seen bots in these games be tricky customers and breaking bonuses. But... It looks like he's sending enough hearts to Feliz, the pink player, to make sure he doesn't break him on that side. Lots of opportunities here to use the bots to your advantage. You know, they can be a pain if they get too strong, then they start breaking your stuff. This bot's about to take himself a little bonus. If they get strong, they can be problematic. But if they're kept weak and you keep them alive for a little bit... Somebody gets a good opportunity to take them out at the right time and potentially sweep a 70%. Yeah, Feliz is the furthest from the bots. So green and red are our bots we're keeping an eye on. Oh, Feliz has the bonus. I thought he was working on the top right, but he's got these little boaty bonuses. He's not defending very hard against that little green bot, though. The one there. I don't know if green would add there and break him. We will find out. But he's in a good position to snatch a second bonus at the top. On the top right-hand corner, he's just got to take out that white two and black one. And if he's playing good neighbors with black and quarantined, then that looks good for him, potentially. Mitch gets himself a bonus. That's a big one. I'm going to say that's plus 10, roughly. I, I think I'm going to pull up the, the leaderboard so I can check it out and see where all these players are. I don't want to miss anything. Okay, so Quarantined is signaling to everybody that he's happy to spend some of his extra troops. He got to hold a bonus turn one. He's going to spend some troops dealing with the bot. Oh, well. 
He's gonna spend the troops dealing with the bot, but he's also gonna take himself a bonus for his troubles. I think that's fair. You know, that, that bonus is a plus four-ish. These little bonuses are plus four, plus five. But the one Mitch has is like a plus 10. So, I think that's fair. Okay, let's have a look. The PRT Cup leaderboard. So, we've got... Let's have a look at Cecil Dogan. leaderboard so doesn't work <laughs> i search his name and it just doesn't come up okay scrap that the leaderboard does not take me where i need to go i can't bother to scroll through it all we'll assume they're all doing pretty well there we go there's uh feliz's second bonus Shove some troops on the portal, ready for when that opens up. They're playing all very nicey nice now, though. By this point in the last game I did the commentary on, everyone hated each other already. But they've kind of got a, a, a second side mission here, which is wrangling these two bots. Making sure that... They're going to be the one who gets the kill on the bots. I don't see a good kill guard spot. The blizzards do sometimes help to create that. Okay, Mitch wants to have some materials on the left side of the board. Which is setting up lots of stacks all over the place, ready to pounce if needed. Cecil Dogan says attack pink. Cecil Dogan, the white player, he does have access to break pink's bonus but not before pink has another turn <coughs> sorry so if quarantines does break pink's bonus now he doesn't do it if he did he risks retaliation he would open up that seven to him and potentially lose his own bonus or gain an enemy it's tricky it's tricky to team up on someone uh, dependent on the turn order. You know, I'm always very cautious. If someone says hit somebody, I want to make sure that we're both going to get the chance to hit them before it's their turn again. Yeah, green bot looking very weak, but the, the cards are not worth much right now. You gotta, I guess it's a, a delicate balance between taking out the bot and not letting anybody else get those cards and keeping them alive long enough to make them really valuable. Uh, if you don't take them out quick, someone else will. Um, Feliz is going to take out the green bot now. I don't know if that four connects to that two at the bottom, though, the green four and the two. I think you might have to go... Oh, it does, it does connect. It's not game over though. He's getting some points. The point the the kill points are not worth that much in the PLT Cup. I think instead he's gotta use it as leverage to But now he's essentially the first position anyway, so it's definitely worth doing for him. He was never gonna get the biggest of trades. He's looking very good right now, though. Feliz, 64 troops. How much is Mitch getting per turn? 13? 14. Oh, 
we could be looking at the red bots death soon as well. He's holding a bonus though. May not be worth it. What's Mitch up to here? He cleared pink out of that area. What was the plan though? What was, that wasn't for a bonus. I don't know. I still haven't figured out, I, I, I think I can play music and it won't be in the video, but I'm still a little bit unsure because I couldn't do a test. So that's why we have no music today. It is a bit strange doing these streams without music. But I don't want to risk it. Because I promised Mitch I would never play copyrighted music. Is it choking up the board though? Ooh, okay. Cecil Dogan is going for Mitch on risk. Okay. That's pretty devastating to Mitch. I think that might be game over for him. But Pink's in a much stronger position. That is interesting. I don't know. I really don't understand that. Somebody, if you, we, remember, we're probably going to do post-game interview after this. If we have questions for anybody, write them down, remember them, and put them in the chat after this game so that I can ask them, because I will forget. I definitely want to understand what that move was for. Maybe he was just feeling threatened. Black had to break for Lee's or game over. Plus 23. It feels a little bit like they've accepted Feliz is going to win this. Maybe Cecil was trying to feed the Mitch kill. End of the road for Red Bot. Four cards. Ooh, he decides to hit Black Five as well. I think this is like easy for Phillies, no? He's very close to the 70. He's already on 49% and he's about to trade. I mean, the trades are still so tiny, though. I mean, look, right now is, I guess, last chance. Mitch, Cecil, and Quarantined have got to work together to hit... Feliz hard because he's he's about to get the 70 they gotta knock down a load of his troops but he's got little stacks everywhere it's not gonna be cheap Yeah, I think Feliz could have won there. He had enough troops, but I don't think they were in the right place. Like this five, this four, kind of stuck doing nothing. The nine could have, maybe he fortified this out. Like could have got a few more down here, could have got a couple here, but I don't think he had the whole 70. 
There's too many of his troops uh, in unhelpful places. Mitch does hit a handful, but leaves enough that Cecil and Quarantined have got to really pitch in as well. This could be actually disastrous for Feliz. You know, if they, because he, he's now looking so strong that they, there's nothing they could do but focus it all on him. And depending how hard they go. Ooh. No! What? Cecil Dogan forgotten at 70%. He does not break Feliz. He simply takes himself another bonus. There is no reason that Feliz would let you hold this bonus. I think Cecil might... I, I can only think that he might have forgotten it's 70. But, you know, the others won't be happy about that because he also didn't put any troops into Feliz. Didn't help out. Saved his troops. Okay, what's he getting? He's getting plus six, and now he trades, probably. Does he have the trade on four? He doesn't have the trade. So many people not having trade on four in this tournament. Including me. Yeah, I don't want to say horrible play from Cecil because maybe there is method behind the madness. Maybe, you know, strategically staying out of it, forcing the others to knock down more of their troops. Uh, I mean, I, I think even if Feliz had the trade on four there, the trades are still pretty low. I don't know if he had it. This is fairly close. Taking out Mitch, our beloved leader. The next one to go. He outlived the bots though, so good for you, Mitch. always has a disaster. He's very close, but I don't know if he's got the troops for it. 64. Yeah, I think he's got it. Yeah, uh, he's got three. He had it. Wow. So Cecil actually pulls off a win because he didn't spend too many troops hitting Feliz because he saw that the others were going to pick up the slack. Shady, but effective. I guess. I don't know. We'll see what he's got to say. Let's try it again. Hello, risk takers. Hello. Damn. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. Well, I, I knew it would go quick. Was yeah, they've all here? been pretty quick. Hey, Mitch. I'm here. I, can I, you hear me? So, yep. I want to just, yeah, I can yeah. hear. The reason I broke you was because I thought Felice was basically going to win. So he mentioned to me to hit you. So I thought I was just basically just trying to get more points. So I thought he was going to end up killing you. That's all. Lame play, but yeah, that's fair. I still think it's lame. So you were I mean, in I, second I mean, place? It's a points play, I just think it's a lame play, because I felt like we all had to hit Feliz at that point. I actually thought sure. you fed... 
I actually thought you were feeding the game to Fleas, which clearly you're saying you were. Um, but interesting, Fleas doesn't break you there at the end and makes a big mistake letting you get all of that. That was weird. Yeah. I thought, so I wish, basically the turn before that when Fleas had both those bonuses. Yeah. I basically thought if he didn't get broken there by either one of you, it was basically game over. Yeah, I mean, if I if either quarantine or I break him, we're just right next to him where he can still ruin our game. I, yeah, I so, understand. So my thought was, I'm going to go over to the left side, take him at least out of a position. And I thought if we would all do that and take him out of his other positions, we would have a chance to get it back to balanced. Um, right. But that's not the direction it went. It's interesting, Cecil, that you're saying that that was the plan, that you just thought he had the win anyway. Because it was very clear, well, I mean, it seemed clear, even to me, and I'm a moron, that you all had to work together, you all had to hit Feliz. Yeah. And I started thinking, when you didn't, that you were being sneaky and saving your troops, knowing the other two were going to do the dirty work. And it kind of worked out for you. <laughs> you know, you did save Yeah, and it worked out, out, yeah. <laughs> And then For ended sure. up getting the win. So maybe, maybe a little sneaky play by you. Maybe you knew that was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to happen, but. <laughs> well, I think the other piece of it was quarantine was clearly willing to work with Felice too. I don't know if he's right. talking to us, but yeah, he was when, clearly. When I... Right. When I saw both of you not break him, I didn't think anyone was ever going to break him. So yeah. I was basically just trying to get a way to get a better uh ending position that's all you did all let him get very strong yeah i mean it's a tough spot because you got the two bots there i was sandwiched between two Perfect. players but my mistake was the play before Feliz gets the bot bounty i had to take him out of one of those positions so he wasn't connected to the green bot and i just missed one of his spots um because if i take him out to where he can't get that bounty i think i get the bounty and get to start building on the left side but once he got that bounty, we were all pretty much dead. But wildly, he breaks Quarantine, who is not the threat at that point. You're the threat. Yeah, I think that was a mistake by him. At least there was no, there was no reason for him to. He didn't need to. <laughs> yeah, and Quarantine had shown no interest in breaking him at all. So, Quarantined, do you want to talk to us? You're on mute right now. Quarantined. Answer for your crimes. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you think that went? What are your thoughts and feelings? Quarantined. Hello. Uh, he took himself off. Mute, and you're not, I sorry, I didn't, oh. sorry. I didn't realize my I didn't realize my mic was off. Um. Uh. So what? Do you, what questions do you got for me? <laughs> what, what was it? What, who were you meant? Who was he meant to break? What was the question? So, Quarantine, you, you were good with Feliz just holding that stuff, and you clearly weren't going to break him and you, until he broke yeah, no. you. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as, he, as soon as he broke me, I was just going to hit him over and over until that game was over. Yeah. That sounds right. Like that, but that game ended pretty quickly anyway after that. And you felt like he made a mistake breaking you. Yeah. He's his. I was talking to him about it in the in the chat. Um, his his reasoning for it was that he he, <clears throat> he wanted to repay White for hitting you, and I was like, okay, well, White did not do nearly uh -huh. as much for you that game as I did. So I don't know why you mm -hmm. felt the need to repay him when he hadn't repaid me in the slightest. But but yeah, and because and because of that, that's why. I mean, I was gonna suicide into him no matter what if it got if it got to that point. Really, I saw I saw him breaking you as. He was just getting his ducks in a row for a win. You know, it looked like he was kind of certain to win at that point. He was very strong and people weren't really hitting No, him. he said his he said doing that was repaying uh, Cecil for hitting Mitch. That's what he's saying in the chat, is that he was repaying I White for hitting me. I don't know how that repays me, but okay. It well, it gave you the game. I don't get it either. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> did, you tell, did you tell him to hit me? No. I don't what, think what, so. What the Feliz <laughs> told uh, Cecil okay, well, to hit me. He said it, he made it seem like you told yes. him to hit me, and then that was his way of repaying you. He did, he did not say that he just did that because he thought it would. Dude, that makes I it even dumber. <laughs> I don't think I ever told him to hit Black. So he told me to hit Mitch, which I ended up doing. Um, so the only thing I would have said was to hit 
Mitch after that, but I don't even know if I did that. I don't know. Crazy. <clears throat> I don't get it. But yeah, it's that was an interesting game, game. Quick game. It seems like it seemed no. fairly uh, not totally clear cut from where I was sitting. But it's interesting everyone's perceptions on this. It looks like no one was really on the same page. I didn't really care how that game went anyway. I'm sitting pretty good on points. What do I get? What do I get for that? No, for that? Not, you got nine for the game. Oh, I'll be fine. Yeah. I'll be right on the cusp. Yeah. Would you, I will would be you fine, thanks, still, Cecil. I got six. Six. I, I wasn't able to find you all on the leaderboard. Uh, Me? Any of you. When I searched, put the name in, it oh. didn't actually bring up that. Um, I was at 16 coming in, so I'm at 22 now. 22. Do, do, we, do we know what the cutoff is? Right. Uh, we don't know exactly, but it's probably somewhere in the 20 to 22 range. It's currently sitting at 17, but there's, there's four more groups to play, so. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, we'll see. Yeah, we will see. But you feel bad oh, for me. I'll be honest, though, too. Having two bots, not fantastic. Yeah, I mean, in that map, in those settings with two bots, is a nightmare. It what are we missing? How did we, how are we down two people? Well, we, we had a group of five, and then Leona couldn't make it. Ah. Yeah. I think the two bots basically lets someone get really, really strong, possibly. And it just goes yeah. really quick. Because it, op it opens up the continents. So it gives a lot more for people to take. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it hard to hold early, but it opens up long term, for sure. Interesting one. Short one. It was interesting. Short one. Most of, I think most of these games have been pretty short from what I've seen. This is the shortest that I've watched or been involved in. Uh, the shortest I saw was it was Mamba's. He got like a cl clean sweep in his game. It was 19 minutes that game lasted. Oh, really? wow. oh God. Well, fair enough. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see if we make it to the next round. Thanks for broadcasting, Hot Buns. You're very welcome. Thank you for giving me a good game to watch. And I'll see you all later. Have a nice day. See yeah.